Good morning everyone, hope I find you well. Our reading uh, from the scriptures uh, this morning is found in Luke chapter 10 and verse 25. I'm reading, as you probably realise by now, from the King James authorised version. Luke 10, beginning to read at verse 25 through to verse 37. It says this, And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbour as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right, this do, and thou shalt live. But he, willingly to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbour? And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves which stripped him of his raiment and wounded, wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three thinkest thou was neighbour unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, he that showed mercy on him. Then said Jesus unto him, Go, and do thou likewise. While I was up in Glasgow at Bible College, word had filtered through that there had been a fire at a Christian bookshop in Birmingham, and that much of the stock had been smoke damaged. However, <clears throat> the college was told that if they could send somebody down by the next day, we could have the pick of books at a ridiculous knockdown price. One of the teaching staff volunteered and I was asked to join him uh, to get children's books and visual aid material for our practical works as students. We travelled overnight in the snow on what must have been one of the most hazardous journeys I could ever remember. There was not so much a motorway system then. You had to cross, for example, the Shap, uh, which was a perilous road, especially in the winter. But we made it there and back in one piece with a stack of books for the college library. In these series of memorable journeys recorded by Dr. Luke, the one I want us to briefly think about uh, this morning, Jesus spoke about him what must be one of the best known stories in the Bible, the parable of the good Samaritan. And this talk I've entitled The Road to Jericho. 
what a hazardous journey this was at any time of the year. The road from Jerusalem down to Jericho, a notorious route for being mugged on. And this is what happened in the story to a certain man we presume was Jewish who travelled that way. We're told that thieves fell on him. They stripped him of his clothes. They beat him to a pulp. And they robbed him and left him for dead on the roadside. Two religious Jews, a priest and a, a Levite, came along and, and they saw him lying there. But they passed by. And they did nothing. How many times I've done nothing when passing someone begging or is homeless and justifiably, I'm told, not them being homeless, but me not giving them money. However, our Samaritan hero came by and he did do something. Jesus said he showed mercy. Or the man who was asking Jesus the questions replied by saying he showed mercy. The Samaritan helped bind his wounds, pouring in oil and wine to soothe and to clean, and put him on his donkey and found lodgings for him and paid for his keep and care while he was away from him. By the way, as I'm sure you know, the Jews and the Samaritans had history. and They were bitter enemies. Well, I'm not going to give you the theological significance of all this and the occasion that led Jesus to tell the story, which of course is very important in our understanding of it. You'll have to study that for yourselves. All I'm going to say is first that the Good Samaritan teaches us what it means to love our neighbour as ourselves, which is not very easy at times because everyone is our neighbour. And second, that he is a fine illustration, an example of the love of Christ Jesus towards each one of us who are undeserving of it. During these past weeks we have heard and we've read of many neighbourly acts of kindness and self-sacrifice by both young and old alike in hospitals and outside of them which have touched our hearts and maybe our pockets all of which I think show us how that good can come from bad. This especially is true of the good news of Jesus, whose death and resurrection brings life eternal to all who will believe him and confess him to others. So let's thank God today for Jesus. And all good Samaritans, because they're much needed. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for your word and for this parable that uh, Jesus told us, uh, which brings to us a very important lesson concerning who our neighbour is. We pray that during this coronavirus pandemic that we might be good neighbours to others. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you again uh, for listening. We'll have another uh, journey to talk about God willing, tomorrow.